Okay, so I had this random thought that I just had to ask my professor about. Why are sleep paralysis episodes almost always terrifying? Like, why can't we dream about something nice? Fairies, mermaids, or anything peaceful? Instead of some shadowy figure standing at the foot of the bed. And I got an amazing response back that honestly blew my mind. So basically, my professor explained that we don't have a full scientific answer yet, but one theory is that it's because the sensation itself is truly terrifying. <laughs> Imagine waking up and realizing that you literally cannot move your body. Your brain immediately goes into panic mode. So it tries to make sense of what's happening and that fear can take shape as something dark or even threatening. Basically, our brains are trying to explain the fear we feel, but end up making it even scarier. Like, thanks brain, that's super helpful. <laughs> but here's what's really fascinating. In different cultures, people don't always see evil or scary things during hallucinations. My professor mentioned that in Western cultures, hallucinations tend to be more threatening. But in places like Haiti, people sometimes see the spirits of loved ones encouraging them instead. So it might actually depend on how our culture shapes the way we think about fear, family, and even the supernatural. I just think that it's so interesting how something like sleep paralysis can reveal how our minds and cultures interact. I've always been fascinated by dreams and how they connect to the brain. They're like little windows in our subconscious that we can't fully explain yet, and I could honestly talk about them forever. So yeah, maybe next time you wake up from a scary dream, just remember, it's not a monster. It's just your brain trying to make sense of something strange that's going on. And honestly, isn't that kind of beautiful, like, in a weird way? So, I hope you learned something. Bye!